Hi. In this set of videos, we're going to cover a very important topic, the management of waiting lines. Unlike all the other topics that we uh, usually cover in uh, operations management in School of Business, where uh, the topics are mainly focused on production environment, management of waiting lines uh, handles mainly operations of service companies for reasons that you're going to understand as we move on uh, in, in this topic. So I hope that you will enjoy this topic. It's very, very, uh, very uh, fun, a lot of fun here. And um, I'm sure that you'll like it, especially that you can easily relate to what you're going to see in this topic. You're going to relate it to your own experience in real life. All right, so let's start. So what are we going to learn in this uh, topic? First, we're going to define waiting lines. Why do we wait in lines? Where do we wait? What are the reasons for that? Um, so we're going to build the context of, of this topic. Then we're going to um, uh, discuss what are the implications for the management. Uh, for waiting lines, what they can do about it, and how it affects the business. Then we'll move on to um, to uh, define the goal of waiting lines. So uh, this is going to uh, tell you why we're learning this topic in the first place, and hopefully you will understand how important it is when we reach this point. Then we're going to um, learn about different characteristics of waiting lines. Um, the waiting lines are mainly have three building blocks. Uh, we will going to discuss these uh, in details. Uh, and then we will learn how to measurements uh, related to waiting lines. So that's why we call these waiting line performance, performance measures. And then we will learn uh, two models. In fact, there are different waiting line models, but uh, considering the introductory uh, nature of this course, we will cover only two models, uh, simple models. And um, in these models, we're going to learn what are the specifics for these models, what make a model different than the other model. And we're going to use these models in order to do performance measures. And in addition to that, we're going to do a cost analysis. And uh, the ultimate, if you want, objective of that is we, you will be able to do a um, capacity design for a certain company um, using a very, very simple procedure. Of course, this is all based on a waiting line perspective. And finally, we will finish with uh, a hint or uh, a flavor of psychology of waiting lines which is very important. It's very important for any business manager not to focus only on the quantitative part of what he's studying, but also on how do, how do uh, customers feel and attend for these feelings. All right, so I hope that you are excited and we're going to start.